Okay, so Magdalene and the feast day, why is it a feast day and not just, you know, a saint day? First of all, she was very highly venerated um, in many cultures for being a leader. She was considered to be the first person who um, saw Jesus after his resurrection. So there's a lot of correlations because they were actually twin flames. And they were actually in the position of one of them being physically taken, tortured, and murdered, and the other one having to escape, having been wounded, and finding safety with the right people and continuing to go on without that person. So, you know, it's commonly believed that she only witnessed um, that he came alive again. In fact, this was a part of her that also resurrected, they resurrected together. Now, there's, you know, a little bit of separation between what has grown into, you know, the story versus how things actually were. It's always that way. Every single story throughout history gets a little flavored. The more it gets told, the more it gets translated from this language to that language to that language. But she ended up in France with a very supportive community and continued her healing work and continued the work of talking about the new light body and what's to come and what would be opening up, okay? Now, there's also the part where she is a leader. She was a leader of the disciples. So she was a pretty strong woman at a time when, you know, class was a consideration. Male or female was a much stronger consideration. The country was occupied. The country they were from was occupied. She was learned in what you might call nature religions. Okay, what sometimes we call Wicca now and what we call um, ancient Egyptian arts. She was not really approved for these things. Like many of us are where we try to incorporate parts of nature and parts of the overall natural and supernatural world that is here that we're a part of and in a light and lovely way. He was being trained, he was trained as a rabbi. He was also of a class that was that class of, you know, teacher and, you know, priestly class, like many traditions have. They have these class structures make it more palatable by making him a blue collar working man. Yeah, that makes it more palatable. But at the time, in order to get the ear of the right people and, you know, be respected, yes, there was a certain level already there. Now, we're collapsing all of these perceived differences of these extremes, okay? Now, for, for her, um, she is a fiery woman. We are in the time of year where the just general message is fire, burn it, burn it down. The structure is burning, finish it off, rebuild and start fresh. You're going to feel sensations that are in alignment with this. You may feel sensations on your skin, in your nerves, you, in your stomach, um, anywhere that needs repairing. And I am here as a Palladian. We are a team from the Pallades where we've done this in certain time cycles. And those time cycles are large cycles, okay? We're here in another one to scoop out and heal and take away and dissipate it. Because really the real forgiveness is in forgetting. If you do not remember some of the things, if you are left with some of the sensations, okay? Now, her own ascension did include healing from all those things. And there were those of us, and I have a distinct recollection of being one of the angelic beings who was not incarnate, present. This first came when I was 14 in a church and I had a complete flash of the entire crucifixion scene. 
and I knew nothing about it. I hadn't been to a passion play. I didn't even know, you know, all of the details because they didn't really want to scare the children at church. And I was distraught. I was inconsolable. But what um, came of it was my belief in there's more. There's more to the story. There is more beyond this. There is more to us. There is more of a life beyond all this because I could I was able to put it together that I was able to perceive myself because I had a second experience of being there to push people away and nudge the right ones, nudge someone to go and help him, nudge the people who went to help. We cannot intervene at every physical level, but the fit, when we are in physical form, we have to be able to connect to our higher selves. And this is what will always get us through certain situation, open the doors for us. That is also what this energy about is about, is making the proper connections through your twin flame body to your higher self so that both of you in the merged state are actually looking out for your life, guiding you, letting you slow down from time to time letting you spring forward. So as you go through a cycle, it might feel that maybe you go underwater and you're like, whoa, when you start coming out. Now what happens is some people do, they go to a point in time where it's time to finish something. Many people, when they are doing the twin flame body work will and continue and it becomes like a stair step. They rise up and they level. And it's important to achieve these levels because it's not always necessary to repeat things, okay? We would like to give thanks for any of the things that we already have experienced, anything where there is a refinement that it is much easier for us now to be able to have conditions that are energetic conditions that make this much easier than it may have made it 10 years ago. We would like to extend this to our communities, to our household, to our environment, to our workplace, that if people are struggling in this energy, that we find it within ourselves to just not be angry, to not be triggered, Sometimes you will not find compassion and sometimes you will feel as though you do not care and it feels like real apathy. You do not care. However, you do not have to be triggered and you do not have to be angry. It is just as fiery energy for other people. There are solar flares which do trigger, they affect our body as much as the lunar energy does. The cosmos has an effect on us and we are a part of it right down to our little star seeded elements, right down to the same elements that are from a star like hydrogen. The sun has hydrogen, we have hydrogen in our bodies in the form of the water in our cells. And the nitrogen also, the nitrogen is one of the gases that is in the protein of our muscles of our body. So we are part and parcel of the entire universe. We have an influence on it. And we have a responsibility and accountability to take care of our own emotional well being. And sometimes just don't get triggered today. Open the door for someone. These things sound so trite. Open the door, let someone else pass. But it's easy to get triggered. It's easy to find a retort. It's easy when people are, they've, they're wounded or they're vulnerable or they're going through a really hard time to not take that as an opportunity to retaliate. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't retort back, okay? If you get reached out to, let it be fresh and new, okay? Make the connections with your higher self. Learn how to do this with me because we are going to make things happen. And mostly it needs to happen for your life. When your life feels stagnant, when your life feels as though you feel like you're done, or you are, you've achieved some level, you're there, you're actually 
in a pause, in a brief cutting of your engine, coasting, coasting. Take your essentials with you, okay? What is essential to you? Okay, thank you.